Welcome to the lecture series of functions of several variable. Today we are going to see some problems based on partial derivatives. If u equal to f of x comma y where x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta then show that dou u by dou r the whole square plus 1 by r square into dou u by dou theta the whole square equal to dou u by dou x the whole square plus dou u by dou y the whole square. So, the question is u is a function of x and y x and y are function of r and theta based on this we are going to show this result. So, first we will write the given look at the solution given x equal to r cos theta given x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta also given that u is a function of x and y. So, we know very well that u is a function of x and y and x and y are function of r and theta. In this case we are supposed to write uh, we are supposed to find that dou u by dou r and dou u by dou theta. So, how to find out dou u by dou r we know very well that dou u by dou x into dou x by dou r same manner dou u by dou y into dou y by dou r ok. So, first result dou u by dou r equal to based on this dou u by dou x into dou x by dou r plus dou u by dou y into dou y by dou r. It is given that x is equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta. So, dou x by dou r is nothing but cos theta and dou y by dou r is nothing but sin theta. So, which is equal to dou u by dou x into dou x by dou r ok partial derivative with respect to r. So, we can get cos theta plus dou u by dou y into dou y by dou r dou y by dou r is nothing but sin theta ok. So, dou u by dou r equal to equal to this result we can call this as equation 1 ok. So, by the same manner we can find dou u by dou theta dou u by dou theta equal to equal to dou u by dou x into into dou x by dou theta plus dou u by dou y into dou y by dou theta. Dou u by dou x we can keep as it is and then dou x by dou theta ok x is equal to r cos theta. So, derivative with respect to theta. So, dou x by dou theta r is a constant we can keep as it is differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta. So, we can get minus r sin theta plus dou u by dou y into dou y by dou theta r is a constant derivative of sin theta is cos theta. So, we can get r cos theta ok. Uh, this is our dou u by dou theta we can call this as equation 2. Now, look at our result what we are supposed to show that we are supposed to show that dou u by dou r the whole square plus 1 by r square into dou u by dou theta the whole square. Just now we got dou u by dou theta. So, to bring this result we are multiplying this dou u by dou theta by 1 by r. So, multiplying by 1 by r. So, 1 by r into dou u by dou theta equal to. So, dou u by dou x minus r sin theta into 1 by r plus dou u by dou y r cos theta into 1 by r. So, we can cancel the r. So, the answer is dou u by dou x into minus sin theta plus dou u by dou y into cos theta ok. So, this is our 1 by r into dou u by dou theta. Now, look at the question dou u by dou r the whole square plus 1 by r square into dou u by dou theta the whole square. So, the first equation is ok. Now, we have to take the equation 2 as like this. So, this will become as equation 3. Now, squaring and adding equations 1 and 3 ok. So, squaring and adding equations 1 and 3 ok because of the result 1 by r ok. So, what will happen in the left hand side dou u by dou r 
the equation 1 dou u by dou r the whole square plus the third equation left hand side is 1 by r square into dou u by dou theta the whole square ok. So, we got the left hand side right. So, the answer should be this one ok. So, which is equal to equal to right hand side of equation 1 dou u by dou x cos theta plus dou u by dou y into sin theta the whole square squaring and adding. So, when you are adding the next equation that is equation 3 dou u by dou x minus sin theta plus dou u by dou y into cos theta the whole square. Now, look at this one a plus b the whole square and here it is a minus b the whole square. So, we are going to apply the result of a plus b and a minus b and you are adding dou u by dou x the whole square cos square theta plus dou u by dou y the whole square sin square theta plus 2 a b sin theta cos theta ok. So, based on that result the second one we have applied a minus b the whole square. Now, look at this one the first equation that is uh, dou u by dou x the whole square cos square theta and here we are having dou u by dou x the whole square into sin square theta. So, in these two if you are taking dou u by dou x the whole square common ok dou u by dou x the whole square into into what will happen here it is cos square theta plus sin square theta ok. Then the next term is dou u by dou y the whole square sin square theta here we are getting dou u by dou y the whole square cos square theta. So, plus dou u by dou y the whole square into sin square theta plus cos square theta the remaining here it is plus 2 a b and this one is minus 2 a b. So, we can cancel these two terms. So, look at this one dou u by dou x the whole square what is this result it's cos square plus sin square or sin square theta plus cos square is 1 plus dou u by dou y the whole square into 1. So, which is equal to dou u by dou x the whole square plus dou u by dou y the whole square. So, what is our left hand side left hand side is dou u by dou r therefore, dou u by dou r the whole square plus 1 by r square into dou u by dou theta the whole square equal to dou u by dou x the whole square plus dou u by dou y the whole square. Now, look at the question we have to show that dou u by dou r the whole square plus 1 by r square dou u by dou theta the whole square equal to dou u by dou x the whole square plus dou u by dou y the whole square we have arrived the result look at this dou u by dou x the whole square plus dou u by dou y the whole square hence proved ok. Now, look at the next question question number 2 let z be a function of u and v let u and v be u is equal to l x plus m y and v is equal to l y minus m x then show that dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square equal to l square plus m square into dou square u by dou u square plus dou square z by dou v square. So, in this one z is a function of u and v it is given that z is a function of u and v z is a function of u and v and u and v are function of x and y ok. So, based on this only we are going to so, uh, show this result what is the result the result is dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square equal to this one ok. So, first we will write the given one given u is equal to l x plus m y and v is equal to l y minus m x ok. So, look at the solution given u is equal to l x plus m y and v is equal to l y minus m x ok. So, in this one dou u by dou x what is dou u by dou x dou u by dou x means partial derivative with respect to x. So, we can get only l here it will be 0 and then dou u by dou y dou u by dou y is m same manner here dou v by dou x equal to minus m and then dou v by dou y equal to l ok. First we will find the partial derivatives. Now we will look at the question the question is 
dou square z by dou x square. That means first we are supposed to find dou z by dou x, then we will go for the derivative with respect to x again. Same manner dou z by dou y and then the second derivative with respect to y. After that we are adding the two equation, we are supposed to get this result. Okay. So, first we, we are going to find dou z by dou x. So, based on this diagram dou z by dou x, dou z by dou x can be written as dou z by dou u into dou u by dou x plus dou z by dou v into dou v by dou x. Okay. Now, dou z by dou u into dou u by dou x is nothing but L okay, plus dou z by dou v into dou v by dou x, dou v by dou x is minus m. Okay. Then what is the next one we are supposed to find? We are supposed to find dou square z by dou x square. Look at the question. Dou square z by dou x square. So, what we are going to do? We are going to again derivative that is again taking derivative with respect to x. So, what will happen? Dou square z by dou x square that is equal to dou by dou x of dou by dou x of dou z by dou x. Dou z by dou x already we got this one dou z by dou x equal to this one. So, dou by dou x into dou z by dou x that is nothing but dou square z by dou x square. So, now this can be written as that is dou by dou x of dou z by dou x can be written as can be written as using the u and v. Okay. So, dou by dou u of dou z by dou x into dou u by dou x plus dou by dou v into dou z by dou x into dou v by dou x. Is it clear? So, dou by dou x using u and v we have written dou by dou u into this term into dou u by dou x plus dou by dou v into dou z by dou x into dv by dx. So, if you are having confusion you just look at this you can cancel these two again we are getting the same term. Here also if you are get cancelling the dou v and dou v again we are back to this equation. So, what we have written is right only. Okay. So, now we have the result for dou z by dou x and dou u by dou x. So, substituting that we will get that. So, dou by dou u of dou z by dou x dou z by dou x is nothing but dou z by dou u into L okay, and here it is minus m into dou z by dou v okay, into dou u by dou x. Dou u by dou x is nothing but L dou u by dou x. Okay, so, into L plus the second term dou by dou v into dou z by dou x. Dou z by dou x is dou z by dou u into L minus m into dou z by dou v into dou v by dou x. What is dou v by dou x? Dou v by dou x is minus m. So, when you are multiplying with this L, this can be written as dou square z by dou u square into L square minus okay, plus into minus L m into dou square z by dou u dou v. And the next term is minus minus L m into dou square z by dou v dou u minus into minus this will become as plus m square into dou square z by dou v square. Okay. So, we are multiplying the L and m inside the term so that we are getting dou square z by dou x square equal to dou square z by dou u square into L square minus L m into dou square z by dou u dou v and then minus L m into dou square z by dou v dou u into minus L m plus m square into dou square z by dou v square. So, in this one dou square z by dou u square into L square and here it is minus L m into dou square z by dou u dou v and here also minus L m. So, how many times? 2 times. So, this can be written as minus 2 L m into dou square z by dou u dou v or dou v dou u both are same only. So, dou u dou v plus m square into dou square z by dou v square. So, what is our left hand side? Left hand side is dou square z by dou x square. Okay. So, dou square z by dou x square equal to this one. You can call this as equation 1. Okay. By the same manner, we are going to find dou square z by dou y square. For that first we are supposed to find 
dou z by dou y ok. So, dou z by dou y equal to z is a function of z is a function of u and v and u and v are function of x and y ok. So, that dou z by dou y dou z by dou y can be written as dou z by dou u into dou u by dou x plus dou z by dou v into dou v by dou y. So, dou u by dou y is m and dou v by dou y is l same manner second derivative dou square z by dou y square equal to dou by dou y of dou z by dou y and using u and v this dou by dou y can be written as dou by dou u into dou u by dou y plus dou by dou v into dou v by dou y and this is nothing but the result which one here dou z by dou y this result we are supposed to substituting here and then dou u by dou y dou u by dou y is nothing but m and dou v by dou y is nothing but l and then multiplying inside the m in the first term and the second term multiplying by l we are getting dou square z by dou u square into m square plus 2 times here l m and here also l m. So, 2 times l m into dou square z by dou u dou v plus dou square z by dou v square into l square we can call this as equation number 2. Now, adding equations 1 and 2 ok adding equations 1 and 2 we can get adding equations 1 and 2. So, left hand side is dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square equal to we are adding the first dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square. So, now look at this one in this one dou square z by dou u square and then dou square z by dou u square in these two if you are taking that dou square z by dou u square commonly outside we can get l square plus m square and in the next term minus 2 l m and here it is plus 2 l m. So, we can cancel these two and the last term is dou square z by dou v square if you are taking commonly outside you can get l square plus m square. Now, look at these two in this one you can take l square plus m square commonly outside so that we can get dou square z by dou u square plus dou square z by dou v square. Therefore, what is the result we have arrived? We have arrived that dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square equal to equal to L square plus m square into dou square z by dou u square plus dou square z by dou v square ok. Look at the question what we are supposed to show that we have to show that dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square equal to equal to L square plus m square into ok. So, now we have arrived the same result ok. So, this is the way we have to do the problems under uh, composite functions actually this is called it as composite functions that is uh, z is a function of look at this one z is a function of u and v u and v are functions of x and y the whole function of this type is called it as actually composite functions uh, definition. So, based on that only we have done the problems ok thank you for watching.